such a good hit. I love this driver. Hi everyone, Luke here from Weekend Tour Pros and you're joining me today at the fantastic fitting studio at Portsmouth Golf Centre. This place has recently had a refurb but it's now one of the best places you can get a custom fit in the whole of the south coast of England. Just take a look at this facility all around us. Now today we're going to be testing one of the brand new drivers for 2024, the Cobra Dark Speed. Now if you've watched my channel for some time you'll know that I've got a little bit of a sweet spot for Cobra. The irons were the first ever irons that I played and they helped me to fall in love with golf and I think that Cobra year after year makes some of the best performing golf clubs at one of the best price points on the market today and I'm really keen to see if this Cobra Dark Speed is just another example of a brilliant Cobra golf club. So what we're going to do is we're going to start hitting some shots with it, we'll be testing those speed claims with a name like Dark Speed, we've got to be testing those speed claims. We'll also be testing that forgiveness because all the drivers at the moment are talking about making it more forgiving when you miss the centre sweet spot and me being an average swing speed mid handicap golfer I'm a perfect tester to do that with and also we'll talk a little bit about the construction, a little bit about the looks because that is important to so many of us golfers as well. Right, let's get stuck in. Right, first hit with the Cobra Dark Speed. Must admit, at address, this driver is so cool. This is a bit of me in terms of looks. If looks are important to you and you like something that's really clean and plain with a matte finish head, this is for you. This is just great i absolutely love the look of this driver it would go in my bag on looks alone over anything i've seen for a long while right let's see how it performs that's a really nice drive to start it's really penetrating ball flight so first shot out of the gate felt absolutely fantastic Club head speed of 89.4, ball speed 129. I'm always looking for ball speeds into the 130s off of good hits. Carrying at 195, totaling at 216, spin at 3439. Oh, that's such a good shot. Two in a row, I love it. Right, so whenever Trackman picks up the impact location, I'm going to show that to you because, again, the big theme this year as well is on forgiveness with these drivers. So just want to show you how they perform off those off-centre hits. I think that's where my videos, more than anyone out there at the moment, can be really relatable. I am not going to hit this out of the centre of the phase every time. We can test those forgiveness claims. That one there, I've hit 11 mil out towards the toe and 9 mil high. It's almost actually just that sweet spot, just a bit high toe. And we've got 130 mile an hour of ball speed thereabouts. 208 carry is the longest I've hit tonight, I think with any of the clubs that I'm testing or my own driver, so that's long. And we've got that spin right in that window that I want to see at 2,700. That for me is just like the perfect driver shot on a track man. Oh, Cobra Dark Speed, you look great. If you perform like that, oh my God. Such a good hit again. This really does feel fast. I know it's got speed in its name, but it does feel fast. That's, I've hit that slightly out the heel there that time, which is interesting just to show you again how it performs out of there. But 130 mile hour ball speed, 205 carry, 233 total, spin at 2283. That's good, like, it feels good. It definitely seems like it wants to deliver a slightly more penetrating ball flight than some of the other drivers that I've tested recently. So that's slightly lower height but everything about it is good. I've got that one high on the face and it's popped right up. So that's really interesting, that shot there, because I've hit it so high on the face, as you can see from the impact location. Yes, we've lost eight mile an hour of ball speed, but we've still nearly carried it 200 yards, 220 total. I just wouldn't notice that out on the golf course because that's there or thereabouts where my normal drives go, you know, 220, 230. Spin again at 2490 is good. That's really where I want to see it. You can see how high it went, 90 feet, where it just popped right up off that face. Oh, such a good hit. I love this driver. Oh my God, that's long. 131.7 mile an hour of ball speed. 211 carry, 238 through total. Spinning at 2226, maybe a tad low spin for me. But oh my God, and I've hit that. Yeah, very much middle, middle, five mil to three mil out. That's just great. I've said this for a while now, there's a couple of manufacturers out there that make some golf clubs that just are a little bit cheaper than everything out there and enough people aren't playing them. Cobra is absolutely one of them. I've had a Cobra 5 hybrid in my bag for a while. My first set of irons were Cobra, so maybe I'm a little bit biased because they invoke so many happy memories of falling in love with golf. 
but Cobra just makes some great golf clubs and the driver last year, Aerojet, I loved how it performed even if I didn't maybe like the looks as much as this one, but this is just performing great as well. Oh my God, it's good, this is good. The interesting thing about me saying it's good is I'm now getting my club head speed, even though I've played 18 holes today and filmed a couple of club reviews this evening, I'm getting my club head speed back up to kind of peak, about 92 is my peak. I'm at 91.3 there, ball speed of 131. Carrying at 211.7 is just huge for me, totaling at 233, again, good, oh, just great. I've absolutely struck that one nice as well. Again, unfortunately, Trackman's just not picked up my impact location again there, unfortunately. It doesn't also help the changing of light we're going through here as the sunset, but 92.4 mile an hour club head speed, 133 a ball, that's the fastest ball speed we've had tonight, 212 of carry, the longest one we've had tonight through the air, 232 total, one of the longest totals, spinning just under that 3,000 I wanna see. It's just good, I really like it. I thought that was gonna slice off massively because of how I delivered it. And it's not, it's curved maybe two yards. Look at that, that's interesting. I finally hit one out the heel to show you guys, not deliberately, but 13 mil off of the, towards the heel that time, one mil below center. So we've got that heel strike and we've got that tiny bit of fade kind of cut from it, but we've still got 131 at ball speed. We've still got 205 through the air, 220 total. Spin has jumped up to 3.6. Still got that height of 95. Like. I'm done, I don't need to see any more out of this driver, but I'm enjoying hitting it that much. I just wanna hit one more. And that says everything I can say about this club. I just wanna hit more with it. Oh, it's a shame, it's a massive pull. Oh, it's huge. It's huge, oh my God. I have pulled it guys, so that's what's caused the distance, but it's a slight Healy pull. But club head speed, 92.6. Ball speed of 136, that's just outrageous. I know it's a pull, but it's outrageous for me to see speeds like that. 216 through the air, 242 total, spinning at 25. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, this is good. Right, come on, let's try and hit one flush out. Down the middle, not just as powerful as that, but down the middle. Not perfect, but it's a good one to end on. 91.6 mile an hour club head, ball speed 133, carrying 207, 235 total, good spin, good launch, good height, good land angle, and you can see there from the impact, slightly out towards the toe, a couple of mil, slightly high, but it's almost in that perfect sweet spot. Right, just done hitting the batch of shots with the Cobra Dark Speed. First impressions in the bay, absolutely love this golf club. Dark Speed by name, dark by looks, speed by nature, it delivers on those claims. Definitely is one of the best looking drivers I've seen over the last couple of years in terms of what I look for in the looks of a driver. I just love that matted finish. I love the carbon. I love how it's almost 99.9% .9 black on it. It just looks great. And if that's important to you and you like the same looks as me, you'll love the look of this driver. And like I say, it's fast. Some of the ball speeds I've seen today are as fast as anything I've seen in the last 12 months when I've been hitting my own drive or other drivers that I've tested. It really is fast. It does deliver some really good distance. The only potential asterisk or question mark I can have in the bay. I did hit a really toey one and it did feel like it twisted quite a lot in my hands. So that MIY of the club and if you compare that to things like the TaylorMade QI10 Max and the new Ping driver, they're talking about kind of not having that club twist as much and not maybe losing as much on those hits. Now I can't say for certain if those drivers would have done the same thing on that shot, but it definitely was noticeable that it twisted a little bit there. But that was one shot out of a whole batch that felt that way. The rest of them just felt absolutely fantastic. Now what we need to do is we need to go home, look at the data a little bit more objectively and all the data together, compare it to a batch of shots I hit with my own Ping G430 offline before I started filming, and we'll just see if the feelings I'm having in the bay are backed up in the numbers and I can give you some concluding thoughts on the brand new Cobra Dark Speed driver range. Right, let's do a deep dive into all of that data then. The first little caveat I just want to give you is the batch of shots I hit off camera of my own ping driver shown in the red section here. They weren't that great if I'm honest with you and they are maybe impacting the numbers ever so slightly with my ping. So please just bear that in mind. You can see that my club path was a bit out to win and my face angle was a little bit shut as a left-handed golfer versus that more neutralized and optimal delivery of in to out with the Cobra Darkspeed. 
Going back to the left-hand side though, we can see that my club head speed with both these clubs was identical at 91 mile an hour, and we can see that on average, the ball speeds were virtually identical too. Now, the one little caveat I wanna give here is there is that one shot that you saw me hit the fourth shot with the Cobra dark speed, where I skied the ball, nearly missed the face, hit it so high up on the face, and we saw that ball speed drop to 122.7 mile an hour. Now, if we were to take that shot out of the data set in terms of ball speed, we would see the average ball speed increase to 131.7, making it faster than the my ping and it's also worth noting that as I got more confident and hit more shots with the Cobra Dark Speed the ball speeds were increasing shot by shot as well and I think actually towards the end we were regularly seeing numbers in the 132s and I therefore think it is a fast driver. As well as being fast, I can certainly say that it is long. On average, it was 206.4 yards of carry distance versus 200.7 with my own ping driver. So that's 5.7 yards of more carry distance in this test on that day. In terms of total distance, it became 5.1 yards longer with 228.3 versus 223.2. So it's not only carrying further, it was also rolling out nicely as well. So the speeds are good, the distances are good. What about the launch conditions? Well, we always talk about optimizing high launch, low spin with driver, and we can see that it was higher launching and lower spinning than my ping driver on the day. I always find the optimal spin for me based on my current driver delivery is about 2750. So at 2838, this was delivering some really good optimal spin for me, about 250 revs less than I was getting out of my ping on the day, while still delivering 2.2 degrees more of launch angle. In terms of ball flights, we can see that it was also 11 feet higher on average and steeper in terms of its land angle. And just to bring that to life for you with the side on view, you can see the trajectory here of all of the shots that I hit. And I think except for that highest launching shot, it was a really good set of penetrating ball flights that I like to see. Final thing to show you is just my dispersion circle here. Left to right, including all of the shots, it was about 60 yards of dispersion, which matches the PGA Tour average. Yes, they do carry the ball 100 yards further than me, but I think if I can match their dispersion circle with my distance as an 11 handicap golfer, that does give me a little bit of confidence. And if we were to take the 80% best shots, so removing the worst shot to the left and the worst shot to the right, it did bring it into about 45 yards, which I think is really good dispersion, particularly for a driver that I've just picked up and hit for the first time, and which hasn't yet been customized into me to optimize and dial that in even further. Overall, a really strong set of numbers from the Cobra Dark Speed, and that leads me really nicely into my final thoughts. So you're probably not surprised to hear that my final thoughts on the Cobra Dark Speed driver are that I absolutely love this driver. In my hands and the testing I was able to do compared to other drivers that I've hit recently, it is fast, it is long, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Combine those three points with the fact that it also comes in at a fantastic price point compared to all of the other drivers released in 2024. And I think Cobra have got the total package here and more of you guys should put this on your test list when you go out to look at drivers for the 2024 season. The one little asterisk that I gave this driver in the bay is that it maybe didn't feel as forgiving on a couple of off center hits as some of the other drivers that I've tested recently, but I think there is a plausible explanation for that. On screen at the moment, I'm showing you the data on the three different heads that Cobra have released in the dark speed range. There is a max head, there's the X head, which is the one that we used in this video, and there is a low spin head. Now I think all the other testing that I've been doing recently has been with the max version of a manufacturer's head, and it therefore is prioritizing forgiveness over anything else, whereas the X head that we're testing was trying to balance forgiveness with that performance of distance and speed as well. So if I did want a bit more forgiveness, I could go to that max head, get a bit more draw bias, get a little bit more launch, a little bit more spin out of it. Equally, if I was perhaps a slightly faster club head speed player, looking to knock down that spin ever so slightly, I could also consider that low spin head. Now, one of the things I think Cobra do really, really well all the time, but particularly this year, is that all three heads are priced at the same price point of 429 in the UK, and they all have the same standard shaft length of 45.5 inches. And what that enables you to do is work with your fitter to pick the right head for you, the right shaft, and dial in that loft sleeve to make sure you get the optimal Cobra Dark Speed driver without having to worry about any further impact into your wallet. That's another tick in the box for Cobra for me. Great job, you guys. All that's left for me to say is if you like the video, please do smash that thumbs up button. It really does help other like-minded golfers to find my content on YouTube. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that button down below, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell icon, and you'll get notified of all my videos as they land on the channel soon. We've got more club reviews from the 2024 releases, including a couple more drivers, all the new irons, and all of the new golf balls. So I'm gonna make sure I help you to be prepared and kitted out for the start of the 2024 season in the coming weeks. So keep following the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.